This demonstration shows you how you can use create requisitions and purchase orders requiring special handling to enhance your business. This feature is for organizations with exceptional purchasing documents. These documents need to include additional details and behave differently from other documents. You can define special handling types for exceptional documents in the Manage Special Handling Types task. When you create special handling requisitions and purchase orders, you can select one of these enabled types. The bill only special handling type is seated. For each special handling type, you can set the associated special handling flex field context to capture additional details at the document header and line. Here on the flex field definition, you can add or change contexts and segments. The bill only context and segments are seated. You can also define exceptional behavior for each special handling type. You can require buyer review before order submission, set document lines to negotiated to facilitate automation, or create receipts automatically for implemented orders. Additionally, if you want to skip B2B communication for special handling orders, you can set that on the supplier's site. Now let's see the feature in action. You will see the Create Special Handling Request action in the Responsive Self-Service Procurement Work Area. When you take this action, you will see a drawer where you can select a special handling type. This special handling type dropdown will include all the special handling types that you've defined in the Manage Special Handling Types task. In this demo, we will be using the seated bill-only special handling type. With the bill-only type selected, we see the header-level context-sensitive segments associated with that type. I'll fill out the details, and the details will be stored on the requisition header. Now that we've started a special handling request, any requisition lines we create will be part of this special handling requisition. I'll start by adding a line from the catalog. I'll search for the item, and then add it to cart. When I add it to cart, I will also see a drawer with the special handling details for the line. These are the line level context sensitive segments associated with the special handling type. Next, I'll create a non-catalog request line. I'll start by filling out the line details. There is also a special handling section here for me to fill out the line level context sensitive segments. I'll add the line to the cart. When I view the cart, I'll see both of my lines. When the requisition is converted to a purchase order, both lines will be on the same purchase order. Before I submit the requisition, let me show you how this special handling feature works with the 24A feature, assigning additional contact emails for requisitions and purchase orders. With the 24A feature, requesters can enter an additional contact email on the requisition and the purchase order will be communicated to this email. However, in 24A, if you have a site with B2B set up, the purchase order will be communicated electronically. In 24B, you can use a new setting on the supplier's site to override B2B communication for just special handling orders. When this requisition becomes a purchase order, it will skip electronic communication and be communicated over email instead. Now I'll submit the requisition.
Here is the purchase order created from the requisition. In this demo, I created the purchase order from a requisition, but you can also create standalone special handling orders. I want to highlight a few things. The first is that the document status is incomplete. When I define the bill only type, I enable the requires by review setting for that type so that purchase orders created from requisitions will stop in the incomplete status for the buyer to review before submission. You can also see the additional contact email was copied over from the requisition and that the application enabled the override B2B communication setting based on the new setting on the supplier site. As I scroll down, I'll see a section with the special handling details. The values are from the requisition header. Next, I'll open the line details. There is also a special handling section on the line details page with the line details copied over from the requisition. Now I'll submit the purchase order. For this special handling type, I've enabled the setting to create receipts automatically. When the order is implemented, the application will create a receipt immediately. Here is the implemented order. The receipt has been created and the document status is now closed for receiving. This concludes the demo.